got an Oz. So um, most of the people that will be on our Facebook page, the Kyoto Oz Facebook page, and um, our YouTube channel will know us, so they'll know our story. Um, but for those that stumble across it or come and have a look at our page or our YouTube channel, we thought we'd just do an introduction video um, for a bit of context. So I'm Darren. This is Selena. Hi. Um, and um, we've been campers for oh, a long time, ever since our girls were babies. babies. So what's that, 20, 28 oh. years? Um, we started when, they, when our eldest was just a, a baby with a borrowed tent. Yeah. I think it was Nick Jimmy's yeah. tent, wasn't it? Borrowed tent and a little Nissan Pulsar, and we loaded it up and away we went. Camped at Green Patch, I think. Yeah. And then um, over the years, we've uh, progressed. We bought a camper trailer some years ago, um, and we had that for a while. Uh, and that was um, that was really good, probably the best five or six thousand dollars we ever spent. Um, and we we did that quite a lot. Um, and we would um, camp with that. Um, then once our girls got too cool to camp with us, um, we decided that uh, we'd downsize that. We sold the camping trailer to my sister, Paula. Hello, Paula. And um, went to a rooftop tent and did a, quite a bit in that in the rooftop tent. Mm. During the height of COVID, we did Central West out as far as Broken Hill, halfway to Cameron's Corner. I got turned around because of the road conditions uh, with the rooftop tent, which was really cool. We enjoyed it. We were supposed to be in London and France and Washington and New York, but that all got cancelled because of COVID. So we did Central West instead, like a lot of people did. Um, so um, about November last year, hmm. we decided we were going to buy a caravan. So we went and had a look and we um we opted on a caravan that we liked um we ordered it uh, and we're told it would take 14 months so <clears throat> at that time it were, that was good for us we um we thought um yeah that works out just nicely we can uh, uh, i would have been due for a new lease vehicle around that time so you know, new caravan would get a new vehicle, get that tripped up to tow and all that sort of stuff. Um, but as often happens, our plans changed dramatically just after Christmas, when Selena was diagnosed with a, a yeah. brain tumor in her cerebellum, um, and she ended up spending 70, Six. 76 days in hospital. Um, while they worked out what they were going to do with it and how it could be treated and all those sorts of stuff. Um, the first, I think, you know, 30 days of that, you were in there by yourself, yeah? Mm. Yeah, so I couldn't I couldn't go in because of COVID. Um, so when Kate came in. Yeah, Selena's sisters who were nurses, they um, snuck in in their nurses' uniforms um, and managed to see her at some point. But then um, I got an exemption and we... Um, the rules, the rules slack okay. changed, and we could get in to see Selena. Um, but as part of that process, they they had to do a biopsy to find out what it was and work out what they could do with it. Um, and the biopsy did quite a bit of damage, so it affected Selena's mobility and affected her speech. Um, and I think after that operation, like the the week after that operation, she couldn't talk at all or, or one word. Um, and she certainly couldn't um, move or walk or it was just sort of lay flat in the back, wasn't it? Mm. Um, <clears throat> so that was... Yeah, yeah. March. 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 Um, and so we did a lot of work in the hospital. When I say we, the, the physios and the doctors and all that sort of stuff. The tumour is actually... Um, inoperable because of where it is. It's down near the brain stem um, and that's why 
there was an issue when we, we did the, the biopsy. We knew that that was a potential, so but we had no choice. They had to do a biopsy. Um, so anyway, the long story short, they decided that chemotherapy was the way to go. Um, and ever since, uh, Selena's been on chemo tablets every day um, to help uh, manage the tumour. Um, we managed to convince them that she was well enough um, and self-sufficient enough to come out of hospital and come home eventually, um, but with a lot of support. Um, we got we got her home, uh, and then since she's been home um, with help from family exactly. and friends and yeah. NDIS, um, some support people, physios, hydrotherapy, all of that sort of stuff. Selena slowly getting her mobility back, um, and in fact, we're away. Um, there'll be another video posted shortly on our trip to Posta. So this is sort of our first major trip away um, to test out stuff and see that how we go. And so, you know, we're all good. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've, we've got quite a bit of mobility back. She's still, you know, in a wheelchair, but can walk with assistance, short distances. Um, and you know the speech has come back that's all good so yeah that's that's sort of um messed our plans up a little bit um to the point where um i've decided to take early retirement so i'm i'm retiring and we're just talking to the finance guy at the moment to to get all of all of our finances in place ready for us to retire or me to retire selena finished work as part of the um the tumor because she, she really couldn't go back to work so yeah as in 22 or 23 days um, I'm done I'm retiring um, we're going to shoot over to New Zealand for a couple of weeks we'll do a video and show you all of that while we're over there we'll be, have a camper van over there um, then we're going to do a trip south to Melbourne um, to see the Melbourne crowd um, that'll be October and November full our eldest daughter, who currently lives in the UK, will be back for Christmas. We'll have Christmas in Sydney. We have to work out something to do in January. Mm. Don't know what yet, but maybe go to Noosa or something. Um, and then, um, of course, the van arrives on the 9th of February. And then we're out of here, basically. Mm. Well, we'll stay local. And then probably from Good Friday on, to start heading north. And, Winter up in the oh, that's fun. winter up in the tropics. So that's a bit about us. That's where we're going. That's what's happening over the next six to seven months. Um, uh, if you're looking at this on the YouTube channel um, and you don't know us, hit the subscribe button. Or well, if you do know us, hit the sub subscribe button uh, and the little bell icon, and you'll get notified when we put stuff up. If you're looking at this on our Facebook page, click the follow link so you can keep up to date with what we're doing. Um, and we're going to try and make sure that we've got um, updates going up as regularly as possible so everyone can keep track of us. And we did this originally, well, we did this extensively to keep family and friends updated. But you know, if you're looking at this and you're not family and friends, welcome. Kia ora. Mm. All good. Um, feel free to follow us. Cheers. Yeah.